Vanessa, thank you. Keeping the premium cigar industry lit, Senator Marco Rubio filing a new bill aimed at protecting Florida's iconic industry. Uh, he's not hiding his feeling mm. about it either. He's calling this stupid regulations. Fox 13's Josh Cassio breaking it down for us. He's live outside the J.C. Newman Cigar Factory in Ybor City. So, Josh, what's going on here? Well, in a nutshell, Senator Rubio says new FDA regulations that now include the premium cigar industry are killing said industry, and that includes the J.C. Newman uh, premium cigar factory here. He wants to protect that industry. Basically, what happened was uh, in 2016, the FDA expanded its tobacco regulations to include the cigar industry. Those regulations say every time a premium cigar company comes up with a new product, they'd have to get FDA approval. Well, as you know, they come up with a lot of products. What this boils down to is a much higher cost for these cigar companies. In fact, Rubio says this could put many of them out of business, costing thousands of jobs. He wants to fight that. Also, of course, living in the Tampa Bay area, everyone knows the cigar industry is huge here. In fact, it's really rooted in this city's history. So Senator Rubio refiled his bill yesterday to protect the premium cigar industry. This is what he said about it last summer. And listen to the passion in his voice as he speaks about this. Here's the worst part about this rule. It's written retroactively. So not only will they have to start complying moving forward, because you could argue, well, just don't change your blend in the future. It goes all the way back to 2007. They're going to have to go back and relabel, repackage everything they've been making for the last 11 years. Yeah, he's really hot on this, and he's been hot on it for a while now. Uh, we are outside again, the J.C. Newman Cigar Factory. This place has been around for more than 100 years. Rubio has said these regulations could cost J.C. Newman $30 million. Well, they make about $10 million a year, so you can see how these regulations could put a place like this uh, and many other businesses related to premium cigars out of business, and that is what he wants to protect with this new bill, which he just refiled yesterday so we'll see where it goes jen back to you and you think ybor city and cigar goes hand in hand what would it what would ybor city be without it we'll have to wait and oh see. yeah all right josh thank you yeah you're